study pushed on automata pushed on automata is basically pda hmm. pda and it is fa plus stack okay hmm. so in finite automata we have five tuples state set of states set of input symbols transition function initial state and the output though here output is not present we have a set of final state so this first five is known to you that is set of this one the q so what is q the q is basically set of states sigma set of input symbol delta transition function q0 initial state and af set of final states but the gamma and z these two are new to you and we need to understand basically these new ones okay and how we will apply them into implementation of pda delta is a transition function what we have learned before that we have to apply a input symbol that is basically the gamma the element of the set uh, sigma element of the set sigma upon the element of the set q but here not only that we need to know what is the state what is the input and also what is the current stack top current stack top or current stack symbol and if we able to know that it will goes to uh, an, into another state and there will be a change there will be a change in the stack symbol so applying a input to a state and according to that also we have to know what is the stack top or stack symbol and that is basically gamma so <coughs> gamma is is finite set of stack symbol z that is basically the start symbol of the stack okay now we can uh, explain this uh, delta the transition function through a pictorial representation suppose here we have this uh, this is the input symbol the tape of input symbol where these are the continuous or continuous input symbols and currently the pda is in q1 so this is your capital q this is capital sigma and this is your gamma you need to know the gamma also so that means here q cross so capital q the member of capital q is q1 the member of capital sigma is b that is the set of input symbols and the member of gamma is y so i am applying so my transition function is look like what i have the state is q1 the input symbol is b and member of the gamma set is y so it is like this q1 b gamma this is q the member of capital q the member of sigma the member of gamma and that leads to <coughs> q2 that is another set and y will be replaced by ab why it is gamma star as all of we know that star means clean closer so that means it may be replaced by lambda or any other symbol the one symbol can be replaced by more than one symbol or it can be replaced by lambda that is nothing clear now as we y will be replaced by two stack symbol a and b so b will go in the stack top and a will go in the stack top and b will in the stack symbol y can be replaced by more than one that is ab and a go top of the stack and then top minus one is b okay this is the continuation of the previous video and now if you see that of this is the current pda in pictorial representation and after at this situation after 
applying this transition function the pda will look, look like this that is as already i have applied b so it goes to c now as per this transition function q1 must be changed to q2 and y will be replaced by ab so in this diagram you can see that this goes to c q2 change to q1 change to q2 and y is replaced by ab you can see here the changes this b goes to c b has already been applied here q1 q1 change to q2 and and y replaced by ab done okay now so this is called instantaneous description this particular representation is called instantaneous description so the pictorial representation of the pda is this and the symbolic representation of this picture is called instantaneous description that means at a particular instance at a particular point which describes the whereabouts the pda that is called instantaneous description that means what if we see this thing that after applying this this is the current presentation or the current pictorial representation of the pda and this diagram can be represented using this instantaneous description that is you can see after applying this we have got this picture so this picture can be represented by this how what is our current state q2 so q2 is here what is the entire remaining input symbols remaining input symbols ab has already been applied so the remaining is cda so cda and the entire stack is abxz so it is abxz so this is id instantaneous description instantaneous description of the pda okay so id is clear now if i ask you that what is the id of this the what is the instantaneous description of this if you write the instantaneous description of this it can be written as what is state q1 so it is q1 then my input symbols are b c d a a and my stack symbols are y x and z so this is the id of this diagram clear similarly this is the id of this diagram clear now let's take what is called id move so what is called id move that is the change of id from one id to another what is this this is a transition function okay what it says it says when you are in q0 when you are in q0 and your input is a your input is a and your stack top is z so with q0 input is a stack top is z if this situation is there then after application of this transition function stage change will occur q0 goes to q1 and z will be replaced by sz z will be replaced by sz so now if you look at this id your state is q0 these are the entire entire input symbols and these your entire stack symbols so as only z is there we can understand this is the only symbol present in the stack other symbols are not present so that means your state is q0 input is a and stack top is z as is the only stack symbol so q0 az 
that means this transition function can be applied because this is the id this is the id so id will tell you that what transition function you able to apply at we require we as we require these three things these three things is present here so we can apply so after application of this transition function q0 change to q1 and a is replaced by sz so q0 become q1 this this a is already a is used up so only we have ab and z is replaced by sz as we have here so this is the change okay so this is the id id that will represent the current pda this is the application of transition function and this will we will have the change now if you say that this is our transition function number 1 always we cannot say that or always we cannot able to write the end transition function so for that purpose we can give them a name so if you say this is transition function number 1 so it can be written that this is the id upon which this t the align t this can be used this basically this is used to represent that so <coughs> this is the id upon which this transition function number 1 is applied and we have got this so this applied function this we have got q1 ab is it okay so q0 this is the id application of one we have got this. this is called id move okay now in the next lesson we will understand how to convert a context free grammar to pda okay so in the last part of pda we will understand how to convert a cfg that is our context free grammar into pda the first thing is that the context free grammar must be in gnf it is must be in gnf the vtps form must be in gnf and then we have the pda it consists of seven tuples the first one is number of state it is fixed here q0 q1 and q2 then your set of input symbol that is sigma then delta the transition functions q0 the initial states qf the set of final states as it is a single though it is represented using curly braces because we are writing here a set not a single symbol so that's why it is written here using curly braces because we are representing here a set not a single symbol it is single symbol so not required though it is a single but it is representation of a set that's why using curly braces just like this one now this one v union z it is the gamma it is the gamma so v union z v is the number of variables present in that grammar suppose in the grammar we we have the variable a and b so gamma consists of a b and z z is the only stack symbol present initially so when it is v union z it is a b and z if a b are the variables and z is the stack top okay now to cfg to pda conversion algorithm the first step is write this to transitions initially okay it means what when you are in q0 no input symbol is required that's why it is lambda no input symbol is required and you can go to q1 so q0 without applying any input symbol you can go to q1 and z is change to sz as is the start variable of the grammar so q0 without applying any input symbol when stack top is z you can go to q1 z will be replaced by sz where s will go to the stack top and z top minus 1 and another transition function that is q1 when you are in q1 and your stack top is z that time also no input is required without applying anything you can go to final state that is qf and z will be replaced by lambda so z become vanishes and it will be replaced by lambda okay so these two are fixed these two transition functions are fixed for all cfg to pda conversion now step 
in step 2 we have to look out each and every production one by one and the general form of the production is this a tends to small a u where this a is a terminal it can be a b c d any any small alphabet or any number that can be a terminal and then u u belongs to v star as we know in gnf form it starts with the terminal and followed by any number of variable any number of variable that can be 1 2 3 4 and as it is a star so it can be lambda that means it can be only a terminal here also now how we will generate the transition function from the grammar this is the form transition function and which has already been generated from this a how it can be generated you can see that we have here a we have a then this the state is always q1 the capital a the variable goes here this a goes here the small a comes here the terminal so state is always q1 the variable goes here if it is b then it become b if it is c then it becomes c if it is z then it becomes z if it is y it become y whatever and if it is a it become a if it is small b it is a small b if small c then small c okay and then the right part of the production it always q1 as it is q1 it is also q1 and then u this u if this u is a capital b capital a whatever is there whatever is there it directly copied to this u if it is nothing if it is nothing then it will be lambda okay so now let's check one example it is a language a to the power n b to the power n so our first job is to convert this language into a grammar so this is the grammar a is small b it is small b a is b or a b okay this is the grammar of this language okay now it is not in gnf so we need to convert it into gnf so this is the gnf form a s b suffix b a b suffix b and b suffix into b so these are three production we have first one second one third one three productions now as already i have explained you need to write the machine first the pda first these are the states states are fixed q0 q1 qf q0 q1 qf they're fixed then how many terminals you have in the grammar those become the input symbol the terminals become input symbol so how many in terminals you have the small a and small b so the small a and small b become the input symbol okay then transition function delta which we will define later then your initial set q0 final qf now this v union z remember that v union z this v union z okay so this is your v union z here your variables are s and bb see your variables are this s and bb these two variable you have okay so this your v union z z also come together and this form gamma that gamma this gamma is here okay and then z just act up so v union z is this clear now in the next page next page of this conversion we will refer this b suffix b as capital B only the B suffix B as capital B only so as the conversion in the first step as I have told you first step is fixed so Q0 lambda Z Q1 is Z Q1 lambda Z QF lambda these two as I have told you these two is fixed this step one is fixed just what is written here in the conversion part I have just copied these two and named them 1 and 2. Clear? Now the next part. As we know as per the algo, if it is this, we have to write this. For this, we have already have explained this thing. Now you can see that if we apply this algorithm, what will happen? This is our first production. As I told you, we convert the B suffix B into capital B. We write them as. So, check this. Is always Q1. Now, capital A comes here. 
capital A comes here. Here A is S, so A come here. Okay, A is come here. It is A A, so it is S S. Okay, now it is A A. The small A come here. So small A here it is small A comes here. Okay, now U U what you have that is S B capital S capital B S B. So this S B this U go come here. U U. So this S B S B. Clear? Again A A. S S small a small a small a small a u u here u is s b so s b done same for this one how s tends to a b so a a q one is fixed b goes here and s here clear then b b see here here your u is nothing u is lambda see A tends to A U U, the variables, but here no U, no variable, only terminal small B. So B tends to B. Capital B tends to B. So Q one Q one is fixed. B comes here. This B here. But what is U? The U should come here. And U is what? Lambda. So lambda is that. Clear? So now how many productions rule production rule we have? One two. What we get from the step one? These two are fixed. And from three production, we have three production rules. From three grammar, three production set of the grammar, we have three transition functions. Three production, three transition functions. Three, four, five. Namely, three, four, and five. Now, if you see the language here, it is a to the power n b to the power. That means a number of a followed by a number of b. So I am taking a a b b. A A B B is the string which will satisfy this grammar. Now you are going to apply that. So I will see the I D move. Initially we are at the state Q zero. A A B B is the string is the input string which satisfy the grammar. And our stack top is Z. Our stack top is Z. If our transition functions are correct, then we able to reach Final state, and then no input symbol is pending, no stack symbol is pending, no input symbol is pending. It's lambda, no stack is pending. Stack symbol is pending. It is also lambda. Now we start here. Put one thing in your mind that when you start this kind of ID move to satisfy a particular string, to satisfy this particular string, whether it's a a b b, is a Is a part, or this A A B B this input string, the validity of this input string with respect to this P D A, then always we need to apply transition function number one at the beginning, and transition function number two at the end. What is one or two? That is fixed. These two, always when we will try to check that the validity of any input string. Then first we have to apply transition function number one at the beginning and transition function number two at the end. In between, in between we have to apply these transition functions, the other functions which we have derived. Maybe it is three for we have got three, so these three will require to apply in between that. Now initially we have applied one, and as I have told you in the one. What it is state? See, no function is mentioned. Only number is there. You can see this is your transition function number one, where q zero. The state is q zero. No input is required. Stack top is z. We go to q one. As no input is required, so the input remains same as previous, and z replaced by s z. Q zero tends to change to q one. Z become s z. So when we apply this q zero a z, so when we apply q zero lambda z, q zero lambda z, q zero become q one and z become s z. So this q zero become q one and z become s z. Okay. So this ID move is happen by applying transition function number one. Now if I ask you. What are the other transition function now we able to apply? Now we able to apply the transition function where 
in the left side this is basically the left side of the transition function where in the left side we have q1 a z s q1 a s so now q1 a s we have in transition function number 3 and 4 q1 a s q1 a s okay so q1 a s and q1 a s maybe we able to apply 3 or 4 any one we can apply according to our requirement now here i have applied 3 okay so if we apply 3 q1 a s so what will happen if you see what will happen s become s b q1 remain q1 s become s b so if we apply 3 Q1 become Q1. One A is used up, so remain A B B A one A less because it is used up, and A is replaced by S B. So as A S will be replaced by S B, it become S B Z. Clear? Now current I D is Q1 A B B S B Z. Okay. Now I applied four. So in the four, what it says? It says if it is Q1 A S. It changes to Q1 B, so S will be replaced by B. So A is used up. We have only B B remain. Q1 remain Q1, and S will be replaced by B. So it become B B Z. Okay. Then I applied four, uh, five. But mind it, it is not like that. First we apply three, then four, then five. We can apply. in any sequence as we require we can apply in any sequence as require and also we can apply one transition function more than one times and also if not require we not required to apply any transition function if there is not required always it is not that we have to apply all of them suppose if i don't require four or five or three we don't need to apply what is required that we apply suppose i need to apply four number four three times and five one times i don't require three done that can be also possible so after applying this four we have got this so q1 b b see what are the transition function now we will to apply where we have q1 this b and b q1 b and b at the left side so see where q1 b b is present See in only transition function number five we have q1 b b q1 b b. So if we apply this, what will happen? Q1 remain q1. B will be replaced by lambda. So b used up. B will be vanishes. B become lambda. Okay. So now here, if we apply five, this capital B vanishes, and this small b is also used up. So q1. One small b is remain, and one b is vanishes. So it become b z. It is wrongly written here. It must be b z. Okay, it is wrongly written. It must be b z. Q one small b and it is b z. Then upon that we again apply five. It is. I am telling you this is b z. Okay, this is wrongly written. It is b z. So if it is b z, then Q one b b again again b b replaced by lambda. So again application of. Five will give you Q one lambda Z. How this lambda will come? As one B is there. Okay, I'm writing it. I'm writing it uh, separately. See. This Q one B B Z, and upon that I am applying transition function number five. So if I apply five, this Q one B it become Q one B is used up, so nothing remains. So lambda, and as B is used up, so we have Z. So now we have Q one lambda Z. Okay. So see, as we have here, Q da Q one, lambda z. Now Q one lambda z means you don't you don't have any input symbol to apply. Okay. So see now we reach the end. When no input symbol is remain, we have reached the end. Now we can see our transition function number two 
it says when we have q1 lambda z the, the q1 will change to qf and z will be replaced by lambda z replaced by lambda okay so you can see that if we apply this thing q1 lambda z so q1 become qf and Le this input symbol is also there lambda lambda is become remain lambda and z also become lambda so now what is happen if you this is one id this is the id final id what we have it reached to final set no input symbol remain no stack symbol remain no input symbol remain no stack symbol remain so as we have started from the beginning as we have started from the beginning that q0 with the stream and z as stack top and now it is nothing remain so this is the if we able to reach this state it means the string a a b b is valid and also our tangent functions are correct this is the validity checking of a string the string which is which come from basically this language we satisfy this language so this is conversion of cfg to pda and also checking of a string validity okay so this is done now you can do this example by yourself you can see this video this is the grammar okay this is the language is a corresponding grammar though it has as it has a null production first we remove the null then we need to do the gnf conversion and then the this of the part that is the productions but i will send you this pdf but before that you need to try this one by yourself okay thanks